Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome to Devotion. This is the most important horror game I have ever played. It wasn't just a very scary game, but it also told an incredibly strong story and it had some very important messages that definitely stuck with me personally. I don't think I'll ever forget this game and I really hope you enjoy it as well. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Well, let's hop into the game, let's go. Hey there. Oh my God, the graphics? Ooh, wait, we're right in? I'm sitting on a couch? Hey there. That looks delicious. I would like to eat it. Look how the fish is like. <laughs> it's just a fish. <laughs> just eat the whole fish. I don't know what I'm watching exactly. Doesn't look very interesting. Uh oh. <laughs> Did you see that giant fish in there? What the hell? The fish can't even turn, man. The giant fish in the aquarium. Big fish. Oh. Um, my screen? Am I going crazy? What's happening? Why is my screen going? Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can barely move. What is going on? Um. Well then. <laughs> Wait, we weren't in the room because the mom came in the room and she said, where are you? Interesting. So we were already gone at that point. Uh oh. What happened? Oh, we were still in the room, though. The TV is still on. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I love the... I There's something so alien about Asian horror games to me because there's such a different... Like, there's so much different in their societies. That makes even like normal human stuff feel like it's from a different planet to a certain degree. There's the big fish. Oh no, it's a dead fish. The red arowana, a pet fish considered to bring luck and prosperity. Wait, it's not dead. It's alive. It just looks dead. Uh, I don't have a flashlight. Um, my mom here still. Mom's not here. Also, it's raining like crazy outside. What are we watching on the channel? Just, just no noise. Just noise. Just nothing. I right, turn that shit off. Uh, but what's over here, though? Can I turn it back on? I can't. I wanted to watch the... Oh, I can't. It was like a, a drawing of some sorts. Game looks beautiful, by the way. Amazing. It's a bit laggy. It's not laggy. Not as far as I can see. Is it? Oh, boy. What's at the end of this? Why is this long hallway here? Excuse me? It's fine. Okay, we're good. Um, what the heck? Got a crab? It's the year of the crab? Rabbit? Saving the game. God of theater and art, General Tendu. I got so many gods. Oh, look at this. High <laughs> chart that came with the empowered milk, or with the powdered milk we bought. It records Shimon's growth. Wait, we're, we're far beyond this at this point. Are we grown up? Do we go into the future? Isn't this the same room I just came from? Excuse me. Um, are we back into the normal planet? I don't know. Uh, I'm going this way. This was not open before. This is closed. It's my room. I, I am my shin, right? Or not? Oh, what's that? Hi. 
Oh, who's standing there with a... Oh, is there just a floating umbrella? Oh, we're the husband, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were talking in the third person about my shin. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Why is there a floating umbrella? And why can I move so slow? Uh, where's all the blood coming from? What is that? Is that a shoe? The largest shoe I... Oh. Oh, hi. Um. Ah! <gasps> Holy fuck, dude! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Good God, man. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had a jump scare like that. What the fuck was that? <laughs> dude, that's actually so well made. It's the guy, just someone behind me look around. Delayed jump scare. That was... That was masterly crafted. Holy shit. <laughs> Our block, thank you for the 11 months. Woo, all right. Well, that's the way to start your game. Yeah, I didn't, I, that was a... Uh, three years of my life right there. Oh, there was something over here. Year of the Monkey, 1980. What is this? Got a key. 1980, key found in the mailbox is labeled. Okay, we can open this door now. Can we not use our key? T to open inventory. Okay, we have to use keys. Very important. Some games automatically use keys. Some games you have to use the keys yourself. This is the latter. Uh, screenwriter Du Yang Du Feng Yu. Episode one. Scene one. Living hall daytime interior. Close up. The husband carries a, carries a potted plant over the to the window and places it on the sill. Husband smiling. People say that tulips symbolize elegance and sweetness, just like our child. Like you know, our child hasn't even been born yet. All right, let's finish organizing and get dinner ready. The flower isn't blooming anytime soon, so let's eat. Soup's getting cold. Close up. The couple arrange their new home together. They hang her, her paintings on the empty wall, set his medals on the cabinet, and place their china on the shelves. With a, a human touch, the empty abode begins to feel more like home. After adjusting some furniture, the husband returns to the living hall and finds his wife waiting for him with a gift. Interesting. Okay. We have one of ten notes. Oh, wait, I'm cheating. Did you see that? When I pressed escape, all of the text became visible. <laughs> you could read all of that. You want to go back? I don't know if you saw that. Sukirio, thank you for the 17. Uh, what's going on over here? Photo? Photo of Li Fang in her glory dish. Signatures of the film crew adorn the pictures. Oh. Are we doing the... Aha. We are going to decorate everything. We need to we need to do the film scene. I would love to put the the metal here, yes. Oh. Oh, it's slowly getting back to normal. Interesting. <laughs> Is that Slenderman over there? No, it's just a grandma. <laughs> I mean same thing. Okay, we need to put the China China wares, I'm guessing. In the in the kitchen. Alan Nexus, thank you for the 16. Over here. There. An empty dish rack. How about you use this? Oh, look at that. That looks so yummy, yummy. Okay. And then there was one final thing. The photo on the wall, right? Can I just use that? No, it can't be used here. It's gotta be on this wall, right? This wall looks so empty. You gotta put something on there, man. This reminds me of decorating my house in Shadows of Doubt. Luckily, it's not as buggy as that game was. Holy shit. I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, what? Maybe in this hallway? Dark in here. Hello? I wanna get a flashlight, please. Oh, you're painting. Oops. More tulips. It's cryptic. Thank you for the 15. Aha, here we go. I was <laughs> have to go pretty far. Hanging nails. Let me guess. For this, I keep pressing the R key instead of the, the T key. Thanks, posters and, rec and record titles from her heyday. After our marriage, she stopped getting her portraits, portraits done. Why? Were you not supportive? 
I can't, I don't have a reflection. What the hell? Uh, we're not real. We're smooshed out. Interesting. Comfy looking bed. Yeah, out there. Love the graphics, man. The lighting is very well done. Love the reflection and stuff. Penny, thank you for the 20. Oh, you, <laughs> you played uh, Shadows of Doubt as well and your game crashed when you were decorating. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Um, hi. This little ballerina doll. Decorative doll. Um, was there a music box anywhere? I don't remember seeing a music box. <gasps> this game is fucking wild, man. We just got killed in Phasmo. Oh, we finally get a lighter. Lighter, space bar for lighter. Oh, nice. Let's go. What's this say? My dear Feng Yu, this is the lighter you've always wanted. You must be exhausted from all the unpacking. Get some rest. I want you to know that I'll support you always. Happy Father's Day, your loving wife. Aw. Did we get a lighter because we smoke? Don't smoke. What the fuck was that? A, is that a doorbell? <laughs> Are there places that have doorbells like that? I've never heard a doorbell like that in my life. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh no, we're gonna get jump scared again. Be careful. Put my, oh, don't put your lighter away. That's a bad idea. I hope it doesn't have fuel. Let me guess. We're gonna just get the key from here immediately. Yep, that's how it goes every time. Uh, year of the tiger. What year is it this year? What animal is the year? I, I never know. Oh. Oh, uh, there's people? The year of the rabbit. How does it work exactly? Like, is it... Is it... How many different animals are there? What the fuck is going on here? Don't smoke! An indispensable item for every rider. That's not true. It cycle repeats every 12 years. Okay, I see. Monday, February 24th, 1986. Homework. Chapter 1. Chinese vocabulary. Arithmetic practice. A page 7 to page 8. Daily journal. Today I cleaned my room and daddy helped me put all my toys away. My room has a very big bed. I can play house on top of it. Teacher's comments. You should try cleaning your room yourself. Teacher Chen Yi Yun. Quiz scores vocabulary 95 points, which I'm assuming out of 100 is pretty crazy. And math 97 points. Holy shit, we're smarty. I mean, we're not. Our child is though. Big fish? Where's the big fish? Um. Oh, hi. One of these is gonna turn into a real person, huh? And then jump scare the shit out of me. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck did you? I swear to you. Oh! <sighs> fuck you. <laughs> I was like, I thought he moved, but then the other one definitely moved. Small chair used when playing house. I can't crouch in this game, which is actually kind of ominous. All right, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going this way. I need to open these doors. Uh oh. Please. Polaroid camera. I remember once owning a Polaroid camera. Lost it one day, so I bought a single lens camera. What the hell? Okay. Oh, what the fuck is this demon child? A doll used when playing house. It looks fucking demonic. 
Well, I guess we're putting it on the chair. Also, what I was talking about earlier, by the way, if you don't know what Shadows of Doubt, it, Doubt is, make sure to check out the playlist on YouTube. Probably my new favorite game to play in my free time. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, a small chair used when playing house. Yeah, I wanted to use the thing. Yes. Oh. Um. This game is moving at a breakneck pace. I love it. Uh, besides singing, my shin also loved doodling. If I turn it around, does something happen? No. Metronome moved. Oh, what's this? The birthday grab is a ceremony performed for a baby who's reaching one year of age. In ancient times, the chances of a baby dying young were high. It was rare to reach the age of one, so it was a cause for celebration. Therefore, in present times, to honor the ancestors and anticipate a safe and healthy future for the baby, this ceremony has become an important custom. People believe that placing various items in front of the baby and seeing what it grabs can predict what type of career the baby will have in the future. Commonly used items include a pen, ink, paper, enamel, an abacus, garden tools, seals, etc. Other items include hom homophonic objects that correspond to careers of or traits. Garlic sounds like calculates in, chi in Chinese and can represent an accounting career. Onion sounds like smart and can represent an intelli intellectual career. The direction of a child's development is of great significance to parents, especially in modern times. Parents expect a lot from a child's early education, and it is wise to cultivate the child's interest and expertise from a young age to develop a head start in his or her career. Very interesting. Actually, <laughs> love love learning about that. I had no idea. I've never heard of that before. Piano. Thank you. I've never heard of that ritual before. But you guys are all cursed. Onions of layers. They definitely do. Oh. What is our bathroom? Happy birthday. My Shin's piano practice book. Look at these handprints. Those are some giant hands. I love that bathroom. I love the decoration in the bathroom. That's the dis most disgusting toilet I've ever seen. Jesus. It's my let me like me. Okay, me. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, dude, let's go. We're going double. Bum, 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 bum. I know piano. I do not. <laughs> the song is open now. It's finally. It isn't copyrighted anymore, dude. Finally, holy shit. Okay. Now, we're, we're gonna use the ballerina here, right? Yeah. Birthday cake. Use ballerina doll. Four, four and nine. Oh, oh God. What? Dude, Jesus Christmas, what the fuck? <laughs> so child. The fuck? <laughs> child. Maggot. Maggot. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> This is a regular TV program, but <laughs> is this a uh, ta Taiwan Got Talent? Hello? 
Stop looking at me like that, you little shit. Oh god. Coming! Coming! No one's here. Jump scare 100%. People know what they're doing with the jump scares. That one jump scare makes me scared of the future of what's in store in this game. And then they had that other, already two jump scares that were very clever with the mannequins as well. They're not just gonna be the same every time. They're gonna keep you on edge the whole playthrough. You made an Unreal Engine? Cause this looks crazy. I know it was made before Unreal Engine 5 came out. So it can't be Unreal Engine 5, but it looks damn sick. Narration. And so today, they celebrate their child's birthday as candles light the cozy room, the joy of family in peaceful celebration. Husband, my sweet child, what gift would you prefer? Fa father will gr grant you anything. I am grateful, father. Mother, I do not wish for a gift. I just want our family to be mirthful and content. For the child, such an ordinary moment will be especially cherished. If you'd like to know why, we must talk about that strange illness. Also, so, so look, when I get, when I click escape here, all of them become very briefly plain text. Weirdest child ever doesn't want a gift. What is this? After this is painted in blood or something. Oh boy. Hi. Dude, look at that the freaking reflection on the wall. I don't know. Not many games do that. I don't think Unity does that very well. Surgery. Uh oh. Turn around? What do you mean turn around? There's nothing behind me. The year of the ox? Oh, we're moving through time to go- Oh, I see, I see, I see. We're moving through the years. Hello? The fall I'm always falling off the thing. To the parents, greetings. Third year student, do my shin. Date, 11.45 a.m. March 18th, 1985. Which was earlier than before? Pause. Difficulty breathing sent to the school clinic. Action taken. Emergency transportation to hospital. Message to parents. Further medical testing is advised as early as possible. After receiving this notice and seeking further medical attention, have the doctor fill out the reply form with the treatment provided. Return the reply slip to the school medical clinic so that we may continue to provide the student with medical care. Damn. No, don't make, don't make this a sad game about a child dying, please. I can't handle that. Wind and rain beamed relentlessly on the window like during a typhoon. Oh. This is kind of cozy though in a, in a weird horror kind of way. I'm Leonard, thank you for the four months. Wash hands before entering. I'll wash my hands. <laughs> I, I gotta do it. Oh, because she is like in she is sick. Of course. <laughs> Interesting. To wash hands. Need to. Um. Oh, the blood on our hands. We can't wash it off. Is this a metaphor? Oh god. Interesting. That might be our guilt manifesting. Why would we feel guilty about our child, like, having a disease? It's not like we did that. Maybe because we didn't clean our fucking toilet! It's getting nastier and nastier. It's even worse this time. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, she got needles. Uh, 
Oh, yucky bucky. Mortuary assistant. Do my sh do my shin. Sorry, I keep saying my because it's how Dutch E I becomes a I like that. <laughs> May, May do my shin. Record number three of whatever. Uh, gender female, age 10 years. Uh, department thoracic. Thoracic? What is that? Thoracic specialist? Symptoms chest tightness, difficulty breathing. Medical order. Medical order. <laughs> it's chest? Okay. Patient's x ray and blood work analysis normal. No physical ailments observed. Oh, I'm guessing it's two different medical orders. Because they're t they're different. I don't know. Uh, recommend something. Oh, X-ray found in the case folder. Okay. It's it's. Uh, also, I was gonna. Oh, I can't go back. I was gonna make a joke. This is what happened if you pee standing up in your own house. You disgusting animal. Seems like a lot of games have had P, P themes recently. Wasn't there another game we played recently that also had something about toilets? I forgot. Uh, script. Protracted, protracted illness. Scene four. Child's room. Night. Interior. Close up. Candles illuminate the bed and the herbal tea remedy. Out weekly. Father, when will we go down into the big city? Husband. You cannot do so under these troubling circumstances. Son. Son. When your illness is passed, mother and I will take you anywhere you'd like. Father, the needles are painful. His treatment is unbearable. The husband pulls the acupunctural needles out of his child. Acupuncture, isn't that... Isn't that like complete pseudoscience? I don't know. I've always... <laughs> there was this one... This, this fucking thing will live rent-free in my brain forever. There was this... Probably some of the best Dutch commercials ever are... I don't know if they're still online. It's like, it's called, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know how to translate it, but it's just like company of insurance, I think. Um, and one of their commercials is like this guy getting actu acupuncture and then the house gets on fire. And then the, the lady who's giving him acupuncture goes to the window, opens the window down below they're standing with these like catch nets like to, to catch people that jump out the window so she jumps down and then he's walking to the window with all these needles in him and he's like looking down like uh do i jump <laughs> without these needles and it's and then it's like the end of the commercial <laughs> oh man that that one that, that's always where my mind goes when i think about <laughs> acupuncture but anyway uh Husband, no more pain, no more pain. Father won't have you suffer any longer. The child, tired from cry crying, drifts into sleep. Wife, how is this going to work? It's been such a long time. My heart aches. Set your mind at ease. I have another way. That's such a good commercial. <laughs> I don't even know what they do. I just know their commercials. <laughs> like, I just know. Oh, wait, we're in the hospital now? Wait, did this change? I'm pretty sure this changed. Uh, don't we need this? Oh, we need to put it here. Oh. We got a shuffle. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good to me. Exit. I think we just need more. Oh, th yeah, that looks better. Do I not have more? Yeah, I do have more. Okay. Uh, that right there. Which piece? Done it. What's with this? Change direction? Oh. What the hell? <clears throat> what am I doing? Oh no! Feels bad, man. 
Not the child. What does that say? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's go. Um, the child. The child doing. This better not be copyrighted. <laughs> I swear to God. So. Oh, hi there. Our child was that addressed to the child or to me the phone call hey I, I don't know because the child seemed to be going upstairs as well guess we're going in here the vic la vixen thank you for the two it was addressed to me oh i can just open it i thought i had to do something uh what's the faith in taiwan is it Hindu, Buddhism, something else? I don't know. Taoism. Let's see. A more TV. That was specific? Oh. I don't know. I just thought I saw some religious drawings there on the wall. What the hell? Take it away. Lady of the Pier? Yeah, this game is crazy. They made this whole show for this game, or what now? We need to smack it. I want to listen. Wait, we can't smash it. I want to listen. Dang it. The lighter isn't needed here. Excuse me. Uh oh. I don't think this is actual footage created for the game. I mean, it, it's either created for the game or licensed for the game. Either way, it's it's high production quality. Um, uh, help! 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 Uh oh! Uh oh! What the fuck? Help! 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 I didn't mean it. I'm drowning. I'm dead. It's all over. Oh, Jesus. Dude, this game keeps you guessing, man. What the hell? You never know what's gonna happen next. Over in the amazing bathtub. Why would you do that? Oh, hi there. Down. Uh, we're in the bloody bathtub in the middle of a hospital something. Maybe not hospital. Love the pacing of the game. Collect the fragments of the past, traverse into a flawless present. I can't do this. 
I read all of this? I can't read all of this. Actually, I can't read none of this. <laughs> all right, never mind that. Okay, I need to go back, find our past. Aha, I see. And we need, I need to go back to, cause we've been in these pasts before. We've been in 80, 85, and 86. We've been to all of these. I guess I started 80. This was the monkey year? Yes. Yeah, I mean, think of the 17. Oh, I already have the code, the key. Okay. This is before. There. Am I pushing this? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Various offerings and items laid out for a household guardian ceremony. Look at that cheeky. The J Jade Emperor deity assigns a pair of household guardians, a husband and a wife demigod couple, to watch over a family's home. Before moving in, a welcoming ceremony must be performed for the guardians to ensure a family's health, fortune, and peace. 5 a.m. Buy at the market fish, chicken, pork belly, blanched. Sweet rice balls, radish, a simple of luck, a symbol of luck, soda, rice cake, red envelopes, incense, spirit money, liquor, rice wine, three cups filled with four fifths, four filled four fifths of the way, apples for guests, pineapple ceremony use. 7 a.m. Preparation. Clean. Spray yin yang water. Attach red paper to furniture. Spread coins in room corners. Put tokens in water jug. Set up a set up my young. Prepare oolong tea for aunt, white tea for uncle, herbal tea for grandma. Make sweet rice balls for guests. Buy all new cooking essentials. Must be finished by the afternoon. Dude, you're getting up early. What is yin yang water? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like... I would love to hear more about those rituals. Oh god. Jesus. Um, um... Hello? What the hell, dude? <laughs> what a fuck? Excuse me. Uh, do I need to collect anything? Isn't that the goal of being here? Collect- Oh, there! Can I get that? Can't get it! I failed. Do I have to do it again? Did we, did we, are we on drugs or something? Oh, maybe over here, I see. Shoes, red shoes. Do Li Fang. Are you doing well? I was glad to receive your letter. Your friends in the business were saddened to hear of your decision to leave the movie industry. Remember when we were younger, us showbiz sisters made a promise to fly high together. But after you started a family, reality cut that dream short. As your good friend, I understand your predicament. And I can't help but guess that your family's decision to sell their ancestral home must merely, merely be a temporary fix to a deeper problem. Please remember that we will always support you no matter what you do. You are welcome to come back to us anytime and we wish you and your family peace and prosperity. Uh, vinyl record. The title track of the album is Lady of the Pier. It's a theme song for Lee Fang's breakout movie. Uh oh. What are we about to see? Is that me? Hello? Make noise? Ignore! Why no play? <laughs> hey! Oh, what are you tearing apart? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh. Oh. Um, I was probably not supposed to see that. Whoopsie daisy. I love these. 
He's like ball things. <laughs> oh, and that one is great too. You're like. <laughs> and the Phasmo blocks. <laughs> what the hell? Or not the. Well, Phasmo and Observation Duty blocks. You need a code? This is my secret hideout. The password is on my favorite picture. Hmm. Shining Star Kiki. Connect the dots. Kiki has her crown, shoes, and red dress. She's ready to shine on stage. I loved these as a kid. Uh, on your favorite picture. Do I need my flashlight? Thank you. Oh. I need to check into her room, right? In here? Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, fuck me, I guess. That's gonna be a lot of looking around. Never mind, it's right here. You've turned my deepest misery into a comforting flower. Um, okay. Flower pot. Hmm. Are those... Are those pens? I think those are pens. What's going on in here? Oh. Tripod! Camera stand. I don't have a camera. Also, this... Is this the hole from the other side? <laughs> well... Please chill. <laughs> this is very interesting, yeah. Feels bad. What? Is this about us? We fucked up? We're a big asshole? Look. Something over here? Yes, there is. According to legend, it happened in a small village in southern Fujian. There once lived a poor farmer whose son was too frail to work in the fields. He said he was sent to a Buddhist temple to train as a novice monk. Gradually, he became stronger and occasionally journeyed home to assist his father and tend to their crops. One day, while working in the fields, they came upon a massive striped snake. Apprehensive at first, they approached it slowly, but soon came to understand that it bore them no malice. It would drive away pests like insects and mice, guaranteeing the farmers good harvest for many successive years. Siguguojin, Legend, Legends 15. Interesting. <clears throat> um. Don't I have to unlock the... I can go back and forth. Interesting. Okay. So we need to figure out... This is something we're gonna have to... Maybe do later? We need to figure out the favorite picture. Because I don't think we're going to find that here. Unless it's this. This is my... How do the password is my... On my favorite picture. Maybe it's this? Is there a word that you can spell with this? Uh, it's 12 on there, but I don't think that does anything. Like, I, 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 I assume we don't have to be able to read this text. Let's just go. Let's go to another one and see if, if we get some hints from that one. Uh, maybe. Because we can go back and forth. A corn snake? There was no number on... Oh, hi there! Eddie? There used to be an article here, but it's torn off. Christ Singer retires from Spotlight to devote life to family. 
Dong Li Fang says farewell to the entertainment business. This movie, The Fluttering Feathers, premieres on the big screen, panned by critics nationwide for being extremely anticlimactic and having a poor script. Feels bad. Uh, oh, we've collected two of four? I see. Okay. I like this first showing you everything. Uh, it's very interesting made. Like, first it's showing you all these years and what happened in them, and then it's allowing, or now it's requiring you to go into more detail through those years. So now we're in 85, right? Alish, Alishan Travel Guide? Uh, Mei Shin been sulking in her room since we can't go on our trip anymore. Could you go ahead and read Mei her favorite storybook? Interesting. Alishan is a mountain. Locked suitcase. What is going on? Hi. I will read you your favorite storybook. Family, do Mei, Mei Shin. There are three people in my family. My father, my mother, and I. My mother is a housewife who, who likes to sing while she is cooking. My mother used to be a famous star. Every song she sings sounds perfect. My father is a screenwriter. He writes a lot of words every day. He often works late and I can't bother him when he works or my mother will scold me. Although I am sick and can't go to school often, mom and dad always take care of me at home. My mom says that if I get better, I'll be able to play outside more often. I love my mommy and daddy. I wish for us to have a healthy and loving life. Ceramic doll. Feels bad, man. I wish that for you. Oh, guys, do. Oh, God. Holy shit. It was, it was kind of peaceful for a little while. Of course, it couldn't stay that way. There's no lock over here. Tale of Shigu Guanjin, The Sacrifice. No, so this is the other one, or the continuation of the story. However, nothing good lasts forever. One year, the novice monk suddenly fell victim to an illness. It ravaged his body and soul. He could not eat for days. His health declined rapidly, but the village doctors were stumped. The farmer could do nothing but worry endlessly. At this time, the snake abruptly appeared and said to the farmer, I am a spirit serpent of a thousand years of age, and since your child's birth, I have witnessed his resolve, his great strength, sense of duty, and filial piety. His virtuousness outshines even my own. Let me help him through this troublesome bout. Heed my instructions. My flesh and blood, brewed into a medical wine, shall remedy his condition instantly. The great spirit serpent delivers a fatal bite onto himself, offering his body to the ever grateful farmer. Interesting. bites himself and snakes poison themselves i don't think so. aren't snakes aren't snakes uh immune to their own poison dude that would that would suck so much ass dude it already sucks as a human to bite your own lip or like your tongue dude imagine biting your own tongue as a snake and being like fuck i'm dead <laughs> that would be way worse <laughs> Uh, the doll disappeared, excuse me. That's life. <laughs> it was a tropical snake. I don't know how any of this works. Oh, did I already read? I did already read this. Wait, this went off again? I already read this. Wait. No, no, no. Yeah. Hi. Thursday, June 13, 1985. It's boring at home. The same stuff keeps playing on TV, but I'm so sick, so I can't go to school. I've been to so many doctors, but I am still not feeling well. I have to write in my journal, because my classmates do so too. Friday, June 14th, 1985. Today I have to feed Daddy's Orowana fish. It must be sad being stuck in this fish tank, just like me in my house. Excuse me? Um... Frick. Alarm clock. Am I doing like a normal day in the life of you? Sam, I told you, Dad, you're lying to me. 
，说好今天要出去玩的，就突然说不能出门。我这病明明就已经好了啊！明明说好今天要带我去阿里山的。哈哈哈 ！This is freaking weird, dude. I love this. Television. Oh. Disease prevention is a civic duty. 带我的公司出去，还要把他的皮包跟妈妈的帽子我都要带走，我不要让他用了啦。Excuse me? Um, that what happened? Did she just take? Did she leave? Oh no, thunderstorm! Marble box! <laughs> okay, I see. This time? Oh, she threw them in the fish tank. No. Oh, what the hell? Ah! <laughs> Poor fish. No. Why did it take his eyeball? Marble. Oh, it's a. It's a. We would call these cat eye marbles. Let's see. Damn. Feels bad, man. Rip fishy. It didn't. I know she didn't mean it, but it still happened. I thought there was someone standing over it. What the hell is this? My beloved child. This wine will follow you. Sweet and ripe. Brewing in the pot, mother's three blessings. Wishing your silhouette embraced by silk. Wishing your hair illuminated by stars. Wishing your steps admired by all. As I await patiently, let time mold you into a lustrous jewel. That probably rhymes in whatever language in ta ta Taiwanese. Drawing mation based on my wine poem. Drawing by them. Choose a crown and a red dress are the basic elements of a superstar. <laughs> Hi. Saturday, June 15, 1985. It's the weekend. Dad says that if I took my medicine, he would take me out to play. But he was lying again. I already took my medicine. I was good today, but mom and dad still lied to me. Sunday, June 16th, 1985. Dad brought a bunch of bought a bunch of vitamins, but I don't want to take any. It doesn't make me feel better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. Daddy always lies. I don't want any vitamins. It doesn't make me feel better. We were supposed. Wait, what? It's the same thing. Excuse me. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. Daddy always lies. I won't take it anymore. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. <clears throat> yeah, that's how you. Make a child hate you slowly by just continuously lying to them, you stupid idiot. Uh. They're, they're not as stupid as you think they are. They'll remember. Every time you lie to a child, there's one of those pop-up windows at the top left of your screen that'll say, Your child will remember this. Excuse me? Hi. Uh, uh oh. 
Uh, I know, I know, I know. I have to rotate. Oh, boy. Where's the ball? I don't have ball. I need to play a game. Where's the ball at? Do I have to put that in? Or do I have to... Oh, I have to, have to put the fish eye. The fish eye thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. I just assumed it would be in the machine itself. What the hell? Gonna clap. Hey, there's no, there's no fill state. Easiest game of my life. There we go. That's a fun lock. What's in there? Our key? Suitcase key. Oh, the suitcase key hidden by them. Hi. You're creepy. <laughs> um, excuse me. What the was that? Okay, should we open the suitcase and then we'll find their wallet and hat, right? Oh, it's the wind. Is it breathing? I don't even want to know. Hi. Watching television again? That's fine. Flowers in love. May Shin always requested I read this to her at bedtime. Anything else? Oh, wait, we didn't need to do that, right? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I got something for you. Huh? Can't read this. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Baba lay da liela.今天森林里出现了一只好大好大的山猪躺在床上好多天好多夜都可以自己进去 莎莎说, 求求你, 治好我爸爸的病, 风饶神说, 这是一种神奇的花, 只要它盛开, 再严重的病痛都会痊愈哦, It's always a rare flower 你得用最珍贵的东西灌溉它。风饶神说。莎莎心想,爸爸有说过,全世界最珍贵的神水就在天空树上。莎莎启程了,他走出风饶神的宫殿,他来到小森林,一路向前。yeah, I was like, do I, am I gonna walk? <laughs> what the hell? Dude. Whee! <laughs> hey, this is crazy, what the fuck? <laughs> Have an apple? Dude. Oh. I'm pressing E, I'm pressing E! <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Bramble style head gets popped off. <laughs> Imagine. Uh. 
Maybe the bear will help. Is there any anything? Bear, can you help me? Hello, bear. Help me, please. I can jump here. I cannot jump on your back. I can't. All right, I guess we're going back. There's nothing else I can do. Maybe we get a maybe more from the tree. A stick. Another apple. Oh, he will. The we will help the bear, or the bear will help us. Is it music though? Here, throw. Oi! Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. He's like rewriting the story. <clears throat> it's amazing. This is why I love playing longer games. You'd never be able to have this like tonal shift in a one hour horror game. It, you'd never be able to have so much, so much variety. Oh, we need to collect our own antlers. Oh, I was trying to boing yoing. I, I was trying to pick that up, but I can't actually pick it up. Please, this is like fucking I want to be the Bashi all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> of course. That should only make them more angry to fight you. But okay. Nice. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, man. <laughs> Getting dark. Sam and Ollie, thank you for the gift sub. Oh, what's this? Buy me? What's that? Hi? What are you? Little caterpillar looking thing? Oh no. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to kill this thing, huh? I got something for you. Oh, uh, but now you can't. Not the caterpillar. 
He's so cute. Yummy. This is such a great. Oh. 神水竟然早就已经干掉了，没有最珍贵的水，就没有办法让花开了。No. 爸爸不忍心看莎莎这么难过，把她叫来床边，告诉她，没事了，没事了，爸爸只是要睡着了。只要你好好的，爸爸什么都不怕。哦、oh. ，莎莎难过的哭了，她的眼泪滴在泥土上。I see. 渐渐的，土里冒出嫩芽。哇！嫩芽长出枝叶，枝叶开出花苞，花苞绽放成一朵美丽的郁金香。哇！原来。女人就是他最珍贵的东西。<笑> What the heck? The lips. 爸爸的病好了。<咳>为了感谢风饶神，父女两人一起把花种到土里。山坡上开了好多好多的郁金香，风饶神也好开心。从此以后，莎莎和爸爸一起照顾这片花海，永远。开开心心的生活在一起。Happy ending, let's go. And there's the pick up the origami tulip. Tulip folded out of paper. That was crazy, man. <laughs> This is such good character development. Like so immersively done, so fun. Blinky, blinky. Do we need this for anything? I don't remember what we needed this for. I think we just need that to out of here. Remember, this is a horror game. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, let's go to the next one. Rexy House, thank you for the twenty-three months. There was a pot. There was a pot. There was a pot in the other one, right? Wasn't that in the other one? That wasn't this one. Let's quickly see, because that's a, that's a good call. It wasn't this one. I think. Can we just go back and forth between these? Yes, we can. The loading is so fast. I'm pretty sure it was in this room. Yes. Use tulip. Nice. Uh oh. What? Oh. Real tulip. Look at that. I hope it blossoms beautifully in the future. Oh, maybe we'll have to come back here in a bit, and then it'll blossom, and something will happen. Yeah, what? I never thought I'd see a tulip in this game. <laughs> I don't know where are tulips originally from. I just associate them with with my country, but <laughs> why? What? But well, we we might might have gotten them somewhere else. My beloved daughter, Li Fang. Marriage is a process of growth and learning. Disputes between husband and wife are inevitable. Your father and I also have walked this path. Life can be messy, relationships erratic, but with old age, you begin to foster acceptance. If you choose to leave and come home, home, however. Word will certainly get around. As a celebrity, no doubt you know how damaging gossips can be. Your child is still young and needs to have a proper family. I urge you to reconsider your rash decisions and think of her well-being. I know he can be stubborn sometimes, but you don't have to clash with him on every little thing. 
Let the that bedroom quarrel stay in the bedroom. Minor disputes can always be taken care of civilly, out of sight. Take care of yourself, mom. Well then. Riss. Oh my god, what the hell? I was not even looking at the screen. Excuse me? Are we not collecting everything, by the way? Because we only got one here. Friday science slip. Dr. Shin Hung's column. M melancholy is a precursor to anxiety. Sudden changes in living environment can exacerbate condition. Hey, monkey wrench, what's up? Okay. I don't know if we ha if we're not completing these properly. We'll find out after we do this one if it's still like you haven't done anything. <laughs> we'll probably have to. Oh. Is it... I thought it was a fart for a second there, <laughs> but it's clapping. <laughs> Chiwanki,继续加油。Never mind, no commercials for us. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, this is the same thing. <laughs> What's like, what the fuck? Oh. Um, what is this? Hang in. It was there before as well. Okay. I want these, yes. Uh, Tale of Gigu Kwangjin, Ascendance. The farmer turned the snake's body into a medicinal wine, as directed by the serpent. As soon as he drank the medicine, the novice monk recovered completely. At this time, Sigu Kwangjin descended upon the countryside. Sigu Kwangjin had sensed the spirit serpent's virtuous deed, though it was a mere beat. Wait, what? Though it was a mere beast, Siku Guanjin was impressed by the serpent's ultimate sacrifice, and so bestowed upon the serpent the title of guardian. Henceforth, whenever Siku Guanjin helped the denizens of the world, the striped spirit serpent always followed close behind. Siku Guanjin, Legend 17. The story is recorded in the Siku Legends chapter of the Siku Sutras. Many believe... Believers have professed to seeing a figure of a snake accompanying all appearances by Sigu Guanjin. <clears throat> what the hell is going on? What the fuck? <laughs> is this a commercial? Did all of the music? I <laughs> think it's just a commercial though. <laughs> My dream, do mei shin. My dream is to become a child star because my mom is a superstar. When she sings, I sing along and daddy and mommy say I sing very well. I hope I can sing to everyone on TV one day. So I go to singing class every week. I often participate in singing com competitions. My father says as long as I work hard, everyone will be able to hear me sing. I also want to go out and play with my parents. They're always so busy every day. When I grow up, I will take them out for fun all the time. <laughs> oh. Marbles. Why exactly is she not just doing her superstar career and he's just taking care of the kid? 
I know this is, I, I guess it's 1980, but like, come on. <laughs> oh, claim, call himself. Oh, I'm calming myself with marbles. Okay. I have to look around? No. Are you though? Hey, at least she's fucking walking back. Like, what the fuck, man? Let's go. He is so rude. He actually fucking told them what's what. Probably not gonna go anywhere, but. What? <laughs> Jeez. Game is way too real. Holy fuck. Damn. That's crazy how they told that, like, through the child's perspective. Oh, the dress. Tattered Kupau dress. Defang's famous red Kupau dress when she was popular. It's been sliced and torn. What the fuck? Thinking, looking for lo Oh, you're saying the same thing again. Single lens camera. Camera placed on the table. Swanky 20 year old classic model. Take. Photo of piano. Blurred photo. Nothing can be made out. Shame the shot didn't come out well. Wish I could have retaken it. Do I take photos now? Uh, evil kitty. What? Hey, what? Hello? Who did that? Excuse me? Hey man, thank you for the 12. Uh, this is a different looking room. Oh, it's, it's colored in. Popular vinyl record player from back in the day. I have a vinyl record, no? I remember picking one up a long time ago. Wait, how do I rotate? There. Music. Fang's crown reduced reduced to Mei Sheng's plaything. Oh Jeebus. Oh my god. Uh hi there. Damn, that is pretty cursed. Hug someone hug the child. Yeah, what the heck? Oh hi there! <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> oh my god. Hello? 
A draw. Wow, thank you for the tier 329. Oh, was it a code? 885 something? No, uh, I don't think so. It's, it's the same thing, but I'm just listening again. Eighty, eighty-five, eighty. What is that? Interesting. Um. Oh God. I don't think that actually helps much. Look at all the writing in the trash can. Uh, those are eyeballs. I thought those were decoration. Okay then. Nice. I don't know if that actually helps in any way. I can't interact with any of this. Did you just leave? You frick, man. Am I gonna perform? Did she fail? Something go wrong? What the heck? Also, what's going on? Oh, the tulip bloom! Bloomed. This is gonna be different now? How is this gonna change? Oh, what the hell? Oh. <笑>那就是爸爸送了我一个礼物 我的呼吸就变得很顺，真的好神奇哟！我偷偷把最漂亮的一朵藏在书里面，这样写藏尼姑式的时候，爸爸就会看到了。Close up in the faint candlelight, the husband sits this hard, this sits disheartened at his writing desk. Husband, monologue. Ugh, I can't think of anything. Am I reaching the limits of my creativity? Close up. Outside the room, the child sits on the floor, fiddling with a piece of paper. The husband glances over and notices that it's one of his rejected scripts. Husband, angry. Hey, put that down this instance. The husband rushes forward, grabs the paper, and find, finds it has been folded into a flower. Child, Father, look, I made this tulip for you. With mixed feelings, the husband takes the paper flower. These papers that were despised by the world were treasures in the eyes of a child. Relief fragment? There's a man carved on it? You got something? Okay. Oh, the, the room is back to normal. Hello? Is it, I think this was how this was. So what do we need that for? Probably because now when we get out of here, what's gonna happen? Yeah, that is not very fun. That kind of sucks. Oh, what's this? New new document? Daily dexterity origami tulips. See. Okay, so we got. So need more here. I think this might be. Wait, did we get this? No. Communication between child and parent is crucial. Do not neglect to show affection. Indeed. Okay. 
Um, this be what is over here? This is gonna be like you need to combine the the things, right? Because I oh aha, I see. This is gonna be one of the things. Wait, what? The pieces are incomplete. They cannot be placed yet. Okay, but at least it's telling us. Okay, what do we have in our inventory right now? We have the crown, we have the photo cam, and we have the dress, and we have the shoes. So we have a lot of stuff that we should. Let's go over here. Let's go through all of these because some of this can be used, obviously. Uh, I remember seeing a photo cam somewhere. Um, I don't remember where the photo cam was, though. Oh, here! Here, here, here! Beautiful. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Photo cam. That's this one. Yes, nice. Ella, thank you for the gift subs. Home sweet home. Wait, is this related to that game? Play piano. I have to press space bar. Okay. I am doing this. On the piano, no? Excuse me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> My brother. Okay. Wait, what did that unlock? I must have unlocked something. Oh, this. Mr. Du Feng Yu. Your screenplay that lit the lives I've lived has been rejected by six directors. May I suggest you drop that fruitless obsession and seriously consider coming up with a new script. If any offense has been taken, I beg your forgiveness. Wishing you the very best, your friend Ding Hao Day. Oh. Rip. Uh. Looks kind of blocky. Can never go in here in the laundry room. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Um. Sure, this photo will bring back a good memory someday. Okay, every time it's you do something, then you leave, and then you come back another time, and then stuff changes. I see. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Tofu, yeah. Uh, was there anything over here? Or wasn't there something here? We need this code. <clears throat> Passwords on my favorite picture. Hmm. Um, um, um. Um, um. Is it this one? What the fuck is going on? Help! Um. Hello? God, man, <laughs> where'd she come from? I was just, I didn't do anything. I was just fucking walking around, man. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the most random jump scare of all time. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna come back here later. It'll bring back good memories one day, right? That was legit terrifying. Holy shit. Okay, uh, so now we go to another one. Uh, let, let's go through them in order again, because we have so many items we should be able to use. Then we got a whole outfit here, right? Need like a mannequin of some sorts to put the whole outfit on. But then... Um... But then unlock something. Yeah, maybe the code will happen when you do the photo. Or when you come back there after the photo's been taken. <clears throat> this was the eye. We got that eye. This was... Poem. What's this? Oh, the candles. It doesn't do anything. Okay. But well, we now know that we're never safe. 
Nothing is safe. This room is just gonna be like this forever, okay? I don't think... I can't go in those rooms. And then this room in another timeline... I can't turn on the light. Hi. Um... What's up with you? Is she just there? What the fuck, man? I love how they know... Like, this is so clever. They know you're gonna have to backtrack here, so they make it, like, terrifying to... to backtrack. Oh, you're gone. Um... What are your favorite pictures? There's more pictures here. None of these have, like, uh... None of these have something on it. Right? I'm hovering over them and it's saying... Saying nothing. Is this some kind of Morse code? Okay, so this is nothing. I think we just go back to the to the picture now. I feel like here we've done barely anything. The picture's probably gonna be different now. Is it? <clears throat> Let's see. Nothing seems to be different. There's gotta be something different, right? No? Did the poem have anything to do with it? There's little you can do. Wait, what? Maybe, maybe you have to do like something substantial before something happens here. Because it says, I'm sure this photo will bring back good memories someday. Can that someday be now? Okay, let's go to 1986. We need to be able to use the whole photo album changed. Maybe the photo album changed. It was on the table somewhere. We need to check if there... If, if somewhere we gotta, like, uh, like combine an outfit of sorts. Right? We need to figure out where that could be. Which of these three, three rooms allows me to combine an outfit? I think the, the room, the 85 thing, doesn't do anything. Let's check these out. This room is... Oh yeah, this is extremely cursed. I, I guess it just stays cursed, huh? Here's the photo album. Oh, and now it's no longer blurry and the code is 0716. Aha! I wish I could have retaken it one day. For my birthday that year, M Mei Xing played Home Sweet Home. The date at the bottom reads 0716. Aha, I see, of course. Okay, 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 okay. That's gonna be another one. Now, where to combine this outfit is the, is the last question. Um, we have something happen here. I feel like it's gonna be in this room then. Because there's something over here. Okay, so we got the code, so we can always go back. This made it all cursed, right? Did that making it cursed do anything? I don't think it actually did anything. It just made everything cursed for no reason. And let's just go back to the thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Let's just go back to the thing. Oh my god. And then, um, and then open the thing. 0716. I want to see that. What's in there? Probably gonna... It's probably just gonna be another one of those pieces and then we'll have to figure out the other one after that but we can do that um this is different now oh it's this one yeah this one has this at the top it is this one right i remember you have to step away after the jump scare what did you miss uh we got the code for this thing pretty sure it was over here wait was it over here no Yes. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Zero. Zero seven. One six. Nice. Let's go. Oh. Um. What the heck? Is 
this all the items that were laid before the child? That was going on here? Interesting. Yeah, we're like crawling around. These coins? Yeah. Singing time? Okay. What the heck? Scene 7, Mountain Path Exterior. Hearing news of the child's first birthday, distant friends and relatives come to celebrate. Relative A, when you mature, you'll definitely be accomplished. B, but you can become an uh, imperial official. C, or you can be a merchant. D, being a doctor is good. E, how about a general? F, you will be prosperous. G, gain notoriety. H, acquire prestige. They all take turns to touch the child's head as a blessing of luck, as a token of safety. <clears throat> and we have another one of these. Okay. Nice. So let, let's see. So we got one in this area, right? We got one in the place with the tulips. Which wasn't this place. No, that was also this place, wasn't it? Yeah. So they were both in the exact same place. So I guess it doesn't... They might all be here then. They might all be in the early year. I, I was like, that's going to narrow it down slightly because we need to get one in each year. But that's not true because we got both of those in the same year. So it might all be here, but I don't really see anything else. What we could do here and turn any of this on. Uh, so I guess we're going to have to look at the others real quick, real quick, real quick. To see where we can use these dresses. Or the whole outfit, basically. The tulips was not- The tulips was here! Right? Because the tulip was right there. No, this was also the tulip area. Both of those were here. And there's- Okay! So we can just use this. Aha! This, I mean, obviously. But we can use this. So there's something in both of them still available. Uh, the birthday grab test for one year old. Gets, get a glimpse into their future careers. Okay, so we have some- we have one article over here, one article over there. So both of these have something left that I need to explore. But let's check here first. Okay, this game is very fun. Very well made. Um, okay, let's see. There might be like an article around somewhere. This is made with a lot of passion. Because it could genuinely just be something laying on the ground. And then definitely that place. Oh god. Uh, oh. Can't read that. I guess it's just a. Uh... Yeah, what's with this? There's got to be something with this, right? My beloved child, this wine will follow you, sweet and ripe, brewing in the pot. Mother's three blessing, wishing you silhouette. Wishing your silhouette embraced by silk. Wishing your hair illuminated by stars. Wishing your steps admired by all. Let time mold you in it. Let's just... Can we put all this shit in here? This is the only place... Uh -huh. I see. They didn't really talk about these items in the... In the poem, but yeah. There we go. Now what? Looking forward to the day when I can open it. Which is probably... And then in the other year, there was this pot. As well, but you couldn't interact with it, so I'm assuming- Oh yeah, the tulips were here. Never mind, you are correct. Um, so I'm assuming we go to the other year. To, uh, open it. And now there's gonna be another page here. Yes, there is. Okay, what does this say? Um. 
Wine, the essence of earth and water. As it circulates within, your chi is connected, your body is warmed, and the chill forced out. And then here we can open the pot. Very cleverly made. Uh, yes, you can see. I love how the so much game design detail here. They really don't want you to get stuck. I think that's a good... Oh. Snake. 在想说睡着以后可能就醒不来了睡不着的时候爸爸都会带我去找何老师感冒或身体不舒服的时候爸爸也会带我去那里拜拜因为我以前病得最重的时候是给何老师看过才好起来的所以爸爸很信任何老师
I don't know if I'm looping myself. I may be. Hey, where's my smudge stick when I need it? Stop it! She's pretty far away. Oh, what? Ah, what do you mean? Oh god, I gotta go left. <laughs> she looped me, man. I got looped. Uh, am I going the right way? I have no idea. I mean, as long as I'm opening new doors, we're probably going the right way. Maybe this all looks exactly the same. Oh, she's right by me. Uh, stuff is changing. Wait. Oh. There we go. Hey, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! It's just a wife? Did we just run away from our problems once again? What the heck? I think that might... Oh. Oh. Oh.是啊，谢谢刘大哥。国民女星回来了。这可真是个大消息我相信听众朋友们一定都非常的开心大家都非常的想念不过同时应该也都跟我一样很好奇究竟是什么原因让你决定继续回来拍戏的<笑> 我想他最在乎的就是他那张古博的面子吧 你能想象吗？被自己的丈夫当成妖魔鬼怪？美心从小就爱黏着爸爸，父女俩三天两头就往老师那边跑，我根本没办法。所以我决定，这次演出之后，我要带着一家子离开那里，去一个平静点。Well then, she's finally, like, just saying fuck you and your <laughs> stupid, stupid ideas on how a family should be. Hey, Weddy, what's up? We're, we're making it to the door now. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God. His name? Bye bye. Are you having an umbrella in the elevator? Hi, mom. What the heck? But the child, though. Oh no. Are we gonna go into the past now where the child and the husband were together? And stuff probably didn't go very well. Don't, don't, don't make it. Don't do it. Hey. 
is very bright. Davis, holy shit. Oh, we're back here. We're back at the start. Excuse me. Focus. I don't want to focus, I want to listen. Aww. Oh, I can fo focus, it's just zoom, I see. <laughs> it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, Jesus, hi. I leave seat, but I want to listen. It's so good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they did this for the for the game. I'm telling you. Otherwise, it's just I mean, they managed to find the perfect show for this. Yeah, the sound. Oh, yeah, the soundtrack is also. Yeah, it's made for this game. Very pretty song. Alright, let's see our actual child. Oh, God. No, but our child, though. No. Yeah, I give her a 90, a 90 out of 10, at least. I give her one higher than the other one. <laughs> oh. Oh, Aww. Uh, is this my mirror? Am I this? Oh. Oh. Yeah, the mom did leave. That sucks. No, she can't breathe. Oh. Everything. Jesus. This is, oh no. What does this say? Medical order, patients, x-ray, and blood work analysis normal. No physical ailments observed. Recommended referral to the psychiatric department. Hey, no physical ailments observed. I was just sent to me. Oh! I was just, I was like fo so focused on reading it fast that I didn't actually comprehend what was going on. I see. Hey, Oh. Blindfold? Is that a 
Poor girl. <clears throat> it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy at this point. We're making her more and more sad by not acknowledging her actual mental health issues. Oh, this deity is fictional, I see. See the candle, yes. Um, I can't interact with it though. Oh, candle? Who says I saw that about how she's at one book for tea? I think you're making this up, but okay, I know some more. You can't know me, Shima. None of you can you know, need you know, the Hunji. Can you know, Kate Tongs in the Defang? Look for a way out. We're like going through the misguided efforts of this dad to help his child. <clears throat> uh, what's that? Can I not pick it up? It looks like something. I can't focus on it though. What is that? Looks like a little thing. Right, just look at it for a while. Oh, it is an actual deity? Okay, well then the person who said that was incorrect. I don't know. I've never heard of it before. Um, we're in... I mean, we are wearing a blindfold at that... I mean, this totally feels like something that happened. Not just in... Asian cultures, but like people, <clears throat> like especially back in the day, there must be so many people that were just struggling with mental health who got the complete wrong help that they needed. I love the lancers. I think we did this as well. When uh, I was in Thailand, I, I we lit one of these lanterns that you like let go up. It's so striking. Like seeing all those lanterns in the sky. It's kind of wild. Very special. Oh, there's the, the this one's supposed to go so fast. Oh, Anchor, thank you for the four. I do. Uh, stuff's a bit fucked up here. Uh, do they know? Uh, there's quite a few people. Holy shit. Hell is just underneath the bridge to heaven. Is that? Excuse me. Gong 
。哦哦，对。杜先生，这是地狱惩罚罪人的地方，这边和你没有关系，不要碰任何东西，赶快走过去。They're holding a rock forever until they get what? They hold a rock above their head forever until they get crushed by it? Are you kidding me? Look at that. It's fucked up. What the hell? Just throw the rock away. Go tickle them. You're fucked up. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? What is this? Can't you guys climb up? That's the one thing that always... The one thing that I think a lot of people that aren't involved in any religion don't vibe with. I feel like for, as an outsider, it always feels like lots of religions are built upon... If you're not a part of us, you're gonna like burn in hell forever. Like. I feel like, like I know fear is like a strong factor to keep people in your, I mean, I don't want to say cold, but in your religion. But why can't it be, why can't you show the good parts? Why does, why does joining your religion need to come from fear rather than from love and acceptance? Like, I think religions can have lots of good, good, uh, like societal effects, but so much of it from the outside seems like this, where it's like, if you don't do, if you're not joining us, then you're gonna burn in hell forever. It's like it doesn't. It doesn't attract me personally. It's like the opposite. It's like widespread hate. What the hell? Are we going in a tree? 这边看到的就是你的内心。你要找到往上走的路，这条路会带你走到内心深处。I know that's it's easy to see that part from the outside as well. Like you always got to keep an open mind because like it's not what what's most important for most of the people that actually practice it. But it's one of those strong forces you see from the outside. Your soul is in it. Wait, you need to use your soul to feel the Blessed Kuan Yin. This is our. Oh, this is like a metaphor for our writing, because it's so important to us. Uh, that looks kind of dangerous. Can you see the door? If you enter the door, you have to look at yourself. No matter what you hear, don't look at it. If there's something, just say the Blessed Kuan Yin's prayer. This game is so much different gameplay and so many different styles as well. Hey. Hey. Du Feng Yu. Look at this. It's me. Have you forgotten me for a few years? Do you remember that flower? The flower I picked. That girl still likes that flower. 天天盯着他看，每次掉了一片花瓣，他就拔自己的指甲去重新完美它。来，花黄了，枯了，他就拿自己的血来浇，终于让小花开花结果。什么？就是那么宝贝他。可是我告诉你，小花终究是小花。结了果以后，它承受不了重量，终于还是被压死。Has that ever been done? Has that ever been done? Like, 很遗憾吧，但我们都是作者，不是吗 ？Like, uh, seeing if a seeing if a flower can survive. Purely off of blood. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. That's that's the making of like a fucked up YouTube video. I gave a flower only blood <laughs> for a hundred days, and this is what happened. Uh, does Goro have anything to say about this? I feel like we're kind of deciding it for her. Hi. Got her. What do you got? Um, is that a spoon? Don't do it with the spoon, but it, some horror characters do with the spoon. No! Ai nu dou mei xin shou ying guo ye suo kun, xin shen mong bi. Si fu du feng yu fa yuan, yuan xian wo guang ming, hua ai nu xin tou ying mai. No, come on, brother! No! Oh, we're not going to be able to see depth anymore. No more depth. Go to the Don't tell me we need to do the other eye as well. I only got one more. Excuse me. I felt that in my eyeball. Oh, what's she gonna give us this time? No more spoon. What, what could it possibly be? Like a finger, maybe? Cut off a finger? That's the only other thing I could see. Gonna be like a scissor. What the fuck are you gonna do with that? I don't think I wanna know. What the fuck? What is this? What are you doing? I need to make sure so in Guo Ye so Kun Ya Ran Shisham. What? Oh, God. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, come on, brother! <laughs> Holy shit. 
shit. <laughs> Oh man, the sounds. Oh, the breathing. Oh no. What the fuck? Are you getting me more? Gonna cut off his penis. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nips dip. Oh, what the fuck? I need to miss so important. Yes, so cool. Are you gonna do a whole hand? Oh, it's just blood. I can, I can. Oh. <laughs> no, don't make me do it. I feel this one, dude. Jesus. What the fuck? Stop it! Dude, this lady is fucking insane! Oh yeah, how is he speaking? <laughs> Um... Wangling Rite, Spiritual Linking. Wangling Rite is a ritual that has been passed down for centuries. With the guidance of a spirit medium, it is possible to chant an incantation and enter the spirit realm. The Juan, 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 the Juan Chen Palace resides in a person's inner conscience. By observing their own Yuan Chen Palace, one can balance their soul, strengthen their aura, and then predict and shape their fate. To enter the Guanling Rite, one must first write down their address and horoscope. The spirit medium will answer any question and guide the host to their intended answer. Common questions include asking about one's career, fortune, and health. If someone is seriously ill, they can also ask for healing and recovery. <clears throat> Holy shit, that was fucking crazy. Where the hell is this going now? Dude. Is that real? Seeing a sandbank equals related to water. Lod lotus equals linking the subject to the souls of the underworld. Seeing the lotus sink underwater equals the subject must be immersed in liquid. Offering blood in a bowl equals pour the wine into a container. No water. Enter suggestions. Wine warms the body, forces out the cold. A wine bath is good for the body. Bathing in the brew promotes medicinal effectiveness, allowing it to flow through the meridian system. Jigu Guanjin will send the spirit, serpent, into the body of all who bathe in his wine, spreading its power to heal all physical ailments. Suggested rituals, ritual steps, the invoker covers his eyes with a red cloth, which lets him connect to the soul in the spirit world. Pair a bottle of pure wine, do not mix with water. Sorghum-based liquors are optimal. Place ser spirit serpent inside. Invoker offers up his blood in a container, a soul for a soul. Place subject in container. <clears throat> Warnings. Gonna the crouch toilet. Um. 
Where do we play this? Over here. Set tape recorder. I would love to use my item on it. No, not this. Oh boy. Dude, I have to recover from that. Holy shit. They want so much money all the time. Definitely a scam. Oh, that was it. Seems like different uh, recordings of people being disillusioned. People who who actually realized it earlier than this fucking guy. Who I don't know how much of that was real. Like the whole tongue cutting out part and shit. <clears throat> Hope not much. <laughs> Tongue still hurts. Yeah, I can. I am. <laughs> I'm all of a sudden acutely aware of my tum tongue's existence, and it's very confusing. <laughs> it's not something you often are aware of. It's like when someone tells you <laughs> that, like, when you all of a sudden are like super fixated on breathing. It's like, <laughs> wait a minute, what? Nothing that. Wait, that. <laughs> Yeah, this is like absolutely incredible game. Amy, Oh no, don't make it end with the daughter's death. I'm gonna lose my mind. After all this, can I fight? Can I not open the door? I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, and she isn't even sick. I mean, she's she needs mental help. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, uh, I remember this from the very beginning. A drawing done by me. It's literally the first note. A drawing done by Mei Shen. Can't rotate it. No. Oh no. That's all blocked. Let me just quickly... I know I can't really do it quickly, but I want to check over here. Need to make sure we're not missing anything. Rip fish, by the way. 
Like the, I wonder what happened with the wife. Like, like I know she wanted to go back to her career, but what about the daughter? That's just poop. <laughs> uh oh. Fine. Hopefully. Oh, flower. I can move. Oh. Oh, now I can move. Follow the flowers. Mama 我已经折了好多好多郁金香了变成大明星Like he even got the full he got it laid out for yeah, she drowned. He's, he got it laid out. The doctors literally told him that she needed physical help and he was like <laughs> He was immediately like that like that means you're a lunatic instead of just I mean like a perfect showcase of why like talking about mental health and the acceptance of like it's okay to not be okay is so important because it it prevents situations like this that's crazy <laughs> i don't know how to, i mean how can a game be so real yet so wild and fucking insane at the same time it's so bright holy shit start it was all just
算是很认识。你会不会还是坦率的笑着？我的。Make it something. Jump scare. Wow! <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit! What a game. <laughs> was... Papa, we're going home. Okay, so he died too. In the end. Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, he might... He died from depression, which was the whole... <laughs> maybe? I don't know. But yeah. Really good showcase. Never seen it in the... Never really seen a game like this at all. Like, that... I guess... To a certain degree, kind... No, nah, no. Nah, Celeste isn't... Celeste has similar themes, but like... Really good showcase of like... Um... Like a game about. Oh, we're gonna do the song? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't make the kids sing. Oh, I need to move. I can't. I'm, I'm moving out of here. We need to read the subtitles. <laughs> Why did they put them there? You piece? Alright, well, anyway, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'll talk over it. <laughs> put it right over there. Anyway. Man. So pretty. Because <laughs> if I alt tab, it's gonna mute. Very pretty. Okay, well, um, that's crazy. What other game? Just move my cam. I can't, because if I alt tab, it's gonna do this. But I, oh, it pauses. It pauses if I alt tab. Let's go. Okay, perfect. I can move. I will be in the middle. I'll be on the subtitles. <laughs> Perfect, we're fine. <laughs> this is a crazy production value though, like besides obviously the themes were incredible and the writing was in second to none. Like in terms of what message it tried to portray and how it did that. Like absolutely incredible. But like all the all the different ways of playing the game, like all the different storytelling devices songs that have been written for the game. <laughs> what the fuck? That's actually wild. Like, just, it had everything. I don't even know how what could have made this game any better. Like, I have no idea. I think this is, like, all very close to a perfect game for what it tried to do. I've heard of Red Candle before. I think they've made more games. I need to check out other games made by them. Because I couldn't... You don't buy this game on Steam. Red Candle made their own purchasing platform. The Tension is the other game. Yeah, the 2D game. Um, I've heard that one's really good as well. Oh, what's going on? Are we going back to the menu or... 
Excuse me? It got removed from Steam? The detention got removed from Steam. What the hell? I'm in the middle now. Wait, I can alt tab because this game is insane and it just pauses when I alt tab. Yeah, I think it, I think the tension was this game also removed from Steam, but why? There's no politics in this at all. Like I know the tension got removed from Steam because they had Devotion was banned from Steam? What? Was I one of these games got removed from Okay, so Devotion got removed from Steam. I think it was because of some like comic, like a like a comic about some Chinese person or something like that. Uh it's just always so like unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, the probably something with the that thing. I don't even know if I guess I, I think YouTube is probably similar. It just sucks that that's so but anyway, what a fucking absolutely incredible game. Probably like genuinely a perfect game. Like I don't know what like the game the pacing was Im impeccable. The scares were actually very well done and well earned. I love how at the start it scares you, it confuses you. It scares you, and then it, like, slowly goes, like, all right, you're in this, like, immersive state. Let us fucking hit you with it and just go full fucking knife to the heart. <laughs> like, Jesus. So, yeah, uh, I mean, the game spoke for itself. I don't know what much more to say. Like, that was a beautiful message on so many levels, not just about the mental health acceptance being incredibly important. I didn't outright say it, obviously, but that's... From like a societal standpoint, we with like, uh, like, I mean, obviously, uh, it's something that's really important and it's been a lot more talked about, but still probably in some circles, maybe Asian circles more than others, uh, not fully accepted yet, but yeah, it's okay to not be okay. You gotta take care of yourself and make sure that you get the help you need and that help might not be a phys might not be a physical illness it might be a mental thing and it doesn't have to be a mental illness being not okay doesn't mean you're sick or as the dad said my daughter's not a lunatic that doesn't mean that at all that's just everyone's got a everyone's on their own mental health journey um but yeah make sure you take care of yourself but anyway that was incredible i love that game thank you so much for watching over on youtube let me know what you thought in the comments down below uh, I had a great time. I know everyone in chat also did. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Now, there's other Asian games Asian games that I played, which I think, I mean, they also had messages. I think Home Sweet Home was the one that comes to mind. I think that was also a Taiwanese. I mean, there was also that, that game I played recently. It was one of the newer games. That was Taiwanese as well. I forgot what it was. I forgot what the exact... It was a recent a game that came out recently. Anyway, I'll uh, link... Maybe I'll make a playlist of like the the schoolgirl one. Yeah, I forgot what that one was called. Forgot, I forgot what the name of that one. Cursed Bridge. Cursed Bridge. I think that was the name. Um. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys. Have a good one. Bye. Take care of yourself. Make sure to do it. I'll see you around. See you in the next one. Oh yeah, karaoke as well. Anyway, adios YouTube. <laughs>